Dear Mr. President, Our team have taken our time to evaluate the quality of brains in Nduka Nation and also ask questions on why the Nduka people are always left out in several appointments by the federal government, the Ministry of Niger Delta, the NDDC and even the state government. Meanwhile, in our interactions for the sake of equity, peace and justice, we found out that the Nduka land is blessed with high-end A-level world-class professionals in engineering, distinguished technocrats in various disciplines and seasoned administrators both in Nigeria and diaspora. During the colonial days, ships moved from Wari up north to Baru and Ibi for economic activities, Unduqua contributes 150 barrels per day from over the 1 billion barrel oil reserve to the Nigerian economy. Unduqua also houses the world's famous Ajib OML City will also play host to the forthcoming Morocco gas project, amongst others. Nduka land has abundant investment opportunities in the solid minerals with rich deposit of minerals for commercial exploitation and processing. This fact can be confirmed by the Raw Materials Research and Development Council on their uses and application. One notable example of these minerals is bitumen. Nigeria prides herself with a reserve of more than 10 billion metric tons of bitumen. Much of it is in Delta State. Nduka land has huge agricultural potentials that is still underdeveloped. Currently cultivated arable land is estimated at about 100,000 hectares with little of it not being cultivated. Immense investment opportunities abound in our upstream and downstream subsectors with a wide area of investment potentials. Open to core investors in the power generation sector for transmission and distribution. Don't also forget that the Unduka land plays host to the establishment of independent power generators. Different organizations, pressure groups, community leaders, traditional leaders, stakeholders and even NGOs have written so many letters and petitions to the state government, NDDC, Ministry of Niger Delta, the National Assembly and even the federal government through your office as this has not seen the light of the day. Our dearly beloved president and father of Africa's most populous black nation, where the Nduka people have found these are petitions out of the thousands of petitions written since the days of our forefathers. Your Excellency, sir, these are pressing issues that need answers. Finally, Mr. President, sir, this is late Ochuko Otwata from Obiaruko in Nukwane local government. He was a good footballer, an assessive attacker, and an entertaining dribbler. Those who watched him play in the 90s can give an account of his skills and his consistency as he delivers his A-class game. But unfortunately, Ochuku's career in football was tragically cut short by death in early 2000. Before his death, he played in several renowned football clubs in Nigeria like Delta Star Football Club, Oka United, Julius Berger, the list is unending. He was a big inspiration to the youth of Okwani has inspired many of our youth to develop their interest in sports. Memories of this great legend will always be in our hearts as we appeal for a national recognition of this great son of our land. My name is Ambassador Phil Roberts and I'm a proud son of Undukwa East, Nigeria's largest producers of oil and gas. Mbeno.